so let's go and take a look at question number one. It says basically to define the domain. And we recognize we have a rational function. Um, and we also have a square root. So there's a couple things that we need to remember um, about the domain restrictions that we discussed in chapter one. right? So at least in this example, you guys can see that uh, we know that 0, the denominator cannot equal 0. So I want to find what values then make the denominator 0. Hopefully, you guys can do this in your head. But if you remember in chapter 1, we set up this equation and we solved. And we got x equals plus or minus 3. right? Then the other thing we found out is we have our square root. right? We have a radical. And we know we can't take the square root of negative numbers. So the other thing we did was we said, well, everything under the radical has to be greater than or equal to 0. right? Because you can't have negative numbers in there. It has to be positive. So it has to be greater than or equal to 0. So we said x has to be greater than or equal to 0. Now, that was our domain restrictions. If you guys remember when we were working on the domain, sometimes to help you guys out, I said, just draw a number line. We know it can't equal negative 3 and 3. So let's do some undefined values there, some open circles. Right? But then we said x can equal 0, but it has to be greater than. So x can equal 0, but it has to be greater than. So it has to be greater. Can't equal 3, though. Then it can go over to infinity. Yes? Correct. I did not do my math right. That should be x has to equal 1, right? I like, didn't do any math there. Good catch. So that's why we should check our math before we're doing it, right? Um, so yes, x obviously, I forgot to like add that over. Um, x obviously has to be 1 or greater than 1, right? Question? Yes, sir. I wrote those zero. Yeah. Put that, right? Um, so x minus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 0. Then you add 1 to the other side. x has to be greater than 1. It's been a little rusty, right? It's a long time making a video. Um, so now let's go ahead and remember some ideas here. So when it's enclosed, right, we used a bracket. So we're going to go 1 to 3. But since 3 is open, we use a parenthesis. And then we still have to the right side of 3. So we write 3 again, parenthesis. And then that continues on and on. There's no restriction there, right? So we say that went to infinity. And infinity was an open bracket. So there is your answer. And then we could also use the union symbol to connect them. And if you guys look at that, you guys can see that is answer C. OK? Yes? Um, you got the, you put the, uh, the, 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 the number line started at the 1. Because mm -hmm. x is greater than, is equal to 1, or greater than. Because of the, the radical. radical, yes. So it couldn't equal 3 and it couldn't equal negative 3. But it had to be 1 or greater. It had to be bigger than 1.